Hey YouTube, so today I'm doing a Joker inspired makeup. Um, it's kind of more like the Jack Nicholson um, comic book Joker than the Heath Ledger. And this is what it looks like. Sorry about my white face paint, it was being really difficult today. So you probably don't want to use the one I was using, but I really do think it's just because it's really old because I've been using it for a while. I used it even in my last Comic Con. So that could be why, because I don't think it's, I've had ever had this many problems with it coming out smooth. But yeah, that's what it looks like, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye guys. And basically you're just going to start out with some white face paint. I like to mix, this is just a really cheap cream makeup one that you can get for like $1.75. I've been using this same one for many different makeup applications of Joker and Harley Quinn, just a bunch of things. So I'm starting to run low, as you can probably see. Ooh. So just a little squeeze of that. Try not to get it everywhere really I did. Oh, my fingers, so I'll just do that. I like to mix my white face paint with some just face cream. This is just the Olay face cream. Um, I like to do this because I find that it just helps it apply better. It's just a little squeeze of that, not too much. Alright. And then I just use a foundation brush, or you can also use your fingers, whatever you prefer. I like to use both. I like to first apply with the foundation brush and then use my fingers. Um, this white face paint isn't the greatest of face paints. Like, it's just it's cheap and it's kind of bad. But it does what I want it to do. I don't like to get too white. I just like to look lighter. But if you want, like, the white, 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 then you might want to use a better quality um, body paint, like Ben Nye. I've heard good things of them. Alright, so then you just want to apply this. Sorry, my lighting is really weird. My mirror is over here, so when I look out there, it's because I'm looking at the mirror. Alright, this is two layers of the face paint. You can see it's very, like, smeary and just not very good looking. So what I like to do, that really helps a lot, is I just use um, translucent powder. This one has a bit of color to it, so if you can find one less, like even more translucent, just like a white powder, I'd suggest using that. And this is just um, Bare Minerals Touch Up Veil in translucent. So I just like to use that to just help smooth out the makeup. All right, so this is what it looks like after I put on the powder. It's still not the smoothest application, but it's kind of the best you'll get out of something like this. So, yep, that's it. And now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I want my eyebrows to look green. I just want to make them green. So to do that, I'm going to use um, eyeshadow and this e.l.f. Um, wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara just to make them, just like shape them better and then make it kind of sticky so that the eyeshadow applies better. So you kind of just want to work fast, like apply the clear gloss, mas clear gloss mascara and eyebrow mascara and then put on the green. I'm using the, my NYC, um, what's it called, the dual palette I think, in Bowling Green. See that? My camera will focus. So that's what I'm gonna be using for most of the makeup. That's what my eyebrows look like now. Green. And then for that, I'm just gonna start doing my eye makeup. I'm going to use some tape to create an angle. You can also use like the back of a brush or something. I just find that tape works better for me. You have to be careful with it though, so it doesn't like remove your white makeup when you take it off. You just want to cut pieces about yay big and then attach them. I like to stick it on my hand and then pull it off to make it less sticky and it helps it so it doesn't take as much eye makeup off. I mean, white makeup off when you pull it off. You just put the tape on like that and then you can start doing your eye makeup. 
So I'm going to go back to my bowling green dual palette or whatever it's called. And I'm going to use the darker green on my lid. For the darker green, I'm putting it like the middle of my lid and then towards the end. And then I'm leaving the corner of my lid free so I can put in a different color. You want to put the green all the way to your face. Once you put in the darker green, you want to put in the lighter green on the inner corner of your eye. Once I've applied the lighter green on the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to get my just this giant color palette that I got from Walmart. It just has a bunch of different colors. And use this color right here. It's like a shiny, light green, almost yellow color. And I'm just going to put that over the light green in the inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This one's from Sephora. It's Pro Crease. And number 10, I believe that says. Yep. Alright, so yeah, it's a number 10. And I'm just going to take that with some black. And just blend that into my crease and blend all the makeup together. Not too much black, just a little bit. Now that you blended that all in, it should look something like this. The camera's not picking up the color too well, but I'll show you when it's done what that looks like. And now you can just peel off the tape. And you should have, that's a quite a bit of paint, I might have to touch that up. And you should have a fairly defined line there. Alright. Now you're going to go in with some purple to bring in the purples of um, his makeup and his outfit. I'm again going to go into this giant palette that I got at Walmart and I'm going to just use, if you can see, this purple color here under my eye and just blend that out up to the corner so that it meets. Once you have the purple applied, it should be something like this. I chose to flick it out along where the green was. Alright, now I'm going to line my top lashes and I'm just going to use this eyeliner. Once you've lined your lashes, it should look a bit like this. I am not great at lining my lashes, so hopefully you'll do a better job than me. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and add some mascara. Once you finish up your eyes, you want to line your lips with red lip liner. I'm just using Beauty Express in red. You also want to fill in your lips after you line them. Once you have your lips filled in, you want to create, you want to like extend your smile a bit. Alright, so once you've extended your smile with your lip liner, I like to go over mine with this red lipstick slash gloss thing that I have. Again, this is super old, so there's nothing on it, and I really don't remember where I got it. So it just kind of looks like that. And I like to put that on over my lips, but you can use a lipstick or whatever you usually do to get your lips the red color that you like. And that's it for the lips. That's what the eyes look like eyebrows and that's pretty much what the makeup looks like. So this is how I do my Jack Nicholson traditional, more traditional looking Joker makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, sorry about how bad the white face paint was being today. That's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. Hey guys, so I made a Joker video like a Heath Ledger Joker makeup tutorial and then it got deleted and it was really frustrating so um you guys should let me know if you guys want me to redo that because I will if you want me to and I'll post a picture of what that looked like so you guys can tell me um I just got a job so I don't know how often I'm going to be able to be posting videos because originally I wanted to post a lot of different videos for Halloween. But yeah, I just got a job. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. But still, I want you guys to let me know what kind of um, makeup tutorials or costume tutorials you guys would like to see for this month. And yeah, just tell me down below. And yeah, that's about it. Bye guys.